What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod and West Side of Tech once again. And as we all know, one of the biggest factors when building a mining rig is cheap, clean power. Well, I can't help you with the cost of kilowatt per hour in your area. I can help you with picking out a good, clean power supply that's not going to cost you a lot of money. Usually when you're looking at a power supply that's going to be platinum rated and at least 750 watts, you're going to be over $100. Well, I have a solution and you might be curious to find out, so stick around. So the solution is pretty clever actually. There are server power supplies that are always being sold on the second hand market for pretty cheap. You can actually pick up a 750 watt platinum power supply for under $40. The only thing you're gonna to need to pick up after that is going to be a breakout board. In fact, you can actually head over to a website called Parallel Miner and pick up an entire kit that includes not only the power supply, but also the breakout board you'll need to hook up your GPUs, as well as the cabling. When picking out a power supply or a server power supply in general, you're definitely gonna to wanna to make sure that you pay attention to the specs, as a lot of these server power supplies are 20 volt. This 750 watt from HP is only a 110 so you won't have the fan noise go even louder than it's already going to get. Now the breakout board that comes with the kit or this kit in particular that you can pick up off Parallel Miner comes with eight PCI six pin power adapters that you can then hook your GPUs up to. Keep in mind you're going to want to keep a close eye on your power limits depending on the GPUs you're using because you could overload the breakout board or the power supply itself, I should say. This kit also includes the cabling that you'll need, and most of the breakout boards do, but just in case, make sure that you double check and confirm that you're getting those. This kit in particular runs for $59, which is still gonna be $40 cheaper than the, its equivalent on Newegg if you're just gonna pick up a regular power supply. So this is pretty cool stuff. Now, a couple caveats here that you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind. If you're a hobby miner and your miner is in some place like your office or your bedroom or even in like a living room or somewhere where people are trying to watch TV or play video games, you might want to second guess this option as server power supplies are always going to be louder. But that being said, you shouldn't be running these in there anyways because it's going to be really hot. Miners are just hot and not to mention you're also going to be running at this point if you're picking one of these up quite a few more than one or two cards. The assembly is quite simple. You have the breakout board and the power supply and you just take the breakout board and if you follow the instructions like I do not in this video, you'll put some electrical grease on there and then plug it in. But it pretty much just slides right in and then after that you're just gonna flip it around and plug all of the six pin power adapters in. Once you're done with that, you can plug up your GPUs, plug in the power supply and you're good to go. One thing to note here is that the rest of the components in the system itself will have the issue of powering on separate from this power supply. There are options to adapt a 24 pin CPU power and 8 pin CPU power as well, but I haven't looked into those yet. We'll have to check it out in a later video. Hope this covered a cheap, easy way to obtain good, clean power for your mining rig. Let me know in the comment section below. And I do look forward to picking up a higher wattage to 20 volt version of this and checking it out with maybe powering even more graphics cards in the future. Stay tuned as well for my mining rig update as we will be installing the ASRock BTC motherboard along with this power supply. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will see you next Tuesday.